students i hope you all are fine today we will do multi dimensional arrays and statistics and axes uh, in numpy so for the uh, first thing that you have to do is uh, import numpy as np my screen is visible to you all okay so we'll begin with multi dimensional arrays we'll go on to find out the statistics and also the axis okay so first make a one dimensional array np dot array i take some random values you also type according to this and uh, share me the screen once we are done so that i can see how much you have done and where you got stuck okay so now if i want to see how my x is formed i just have to simply type x and enter i get the x in the format of 3 cross 3 matrix and array is generated in the format of matrix now if i want to find out the sum of x what will i write we have done this previously yes np dot sum of x it is as simple as that and it will give you the sum of all the elements over here in the above matrix okay so if i want to find out say suppose i am writing you tell me okay we have also done this x comma 0 it what does it mean yes uh, write me in the chat box what you will get okay yes yes few of you are correct so it will give me the zero axis okay so it is giving me the sum of zero axis uh, that is it will give me the sum in column format okay so that means this is the sum of the first column what it comes 70 plus 40 plus 10 it comes to 120 50 80 and 20 150 and 90 30 60 gives you 180 so np dot sum in brackets x comma zero means zero axis it's, it considers zero axis that is it will actually calculate column wise okay and it will give you the sum of the columns respective columns okay now if i write np dot sum x comma one it should give me the one axis that means the sum of the elements in row wise that is 10 20 30 gives you 60 40 50 60 gives you 150 and the last row value is over here so it gives you row wise and this gives you column wise okay is it clear fine if I write np dot mean of x, that means I'm finding out the mean of the above array and it provides me with 50. If I wish to write np dot mean of x comma 0, that means it will give me the mean. Yes, it will give me the mean of each column. Okay. So let's check whether it's giving or not. So press enter and here you have the mean of each column. So if I want to find out the mean of each row, what should I write? Yes, exactly right. NP dot mean x comma one. Okay. So it gives you the mean 
by a row wise okay yes it, it, it is the row wise mean now uh, similarly it's very easy to find the median sorry my spelling median of x it will give you just simply write median it will give you the median similarly as we have done like finding out the mean of respective columns then finding out the mean of respective rows we can also uh, find out the uh, median of respective rows and columns writing in the same manner okay are you following students yes thank you now similarly we can find out the variance for variance we'll just write var of x and it will give you the variance of uh, the above array that we have taken also it goes the same thing for variance also we can write x comma zero and np dot var x comma one so it will provide you the variance row wise and column wise okay now what else yes standard deviation we can find out from here is just std of x and it will fetch you the standard deviation of the above uh, array now similarly same np dot you all check and see how much it is coming Okay, np dot var, sorry, np dot std of x comma one. So, standard deviation row wise, standard deviation column wise. Okay. Now we will do a different thing. Uh, so I guess you are able to understand this part quite clear. Okay, moving on to the next thing that is peak to peak value. Okay, so just consider one x over here, another array. Suppose np dot array. Uh, say I'm taking zero, comma minus one, comma minus two. Or oh, say two. Okay, five, ten. I take three minus two and say four. Okay. Now I want to find out what is the peak to peak value. Okay. So just uh, is plain and simple. You have to write np dot pt ptp. That is peak to peak value, and it will give you the peak to peak value of the above array now if you want to reshape that array into a matrix what would you write you just type this array and then you write reshape yes so i'm just uh, taking this part okay and i'll just write dot reshape Uh, say I want to reshape it into form two cross four. Okay, so I'll get two rows and four columns. So just check whether I'm getting or not. Right X and enter. Yes, I get two rows and four columns. So the array is being converted. Okay, now if I want to find out the peak to peak value and Similarly, like as the above cases where you have written x comma zero, if I write like that, so I'll get peak to va peak value respectively of the rows and columns likewise. Okay. Yes. Is it clear to you now? Okay. Moving on to the next important part, that is we will do uh, stack, okay. 